What's up, guys? It's me, it's me, the Athletic Brony, Fritz Rolly, Sen32, and as always, how do you do? You doing good? All right. Now, before I get on with this review, guys, I would like to apologize for everyone who's watching. I haven't been uploading stuff lately because I've been, you know, really busy, especially my golf academy. And also, I really wish I would have, you know, uploaded stuff sooner. But sadly, when you're at your golf academy or when you're at any academy at all, there's always roommates around. And, you know, if you're trying to film something, make sure your roommates are not in your room. But the problem is my roommates are in my room all the time. So that was the problem with that. But oh well. And as for everything else, I could have done reviews like for the past couple of days because I've been up north and I'm still north right now. I'm actually, as you see, I changed locations. I'm actually in my cousin's basement in Virginia. But a couple of days ago, I was in Massachusetts. But you know, I flew down here for Virginia, you know, to get ready for BronyCon tomorrow, and I'm really excited for that, you guys. For all the Bronies and Pegasus out there watching this, I am excited to see all you guys out there at BronyCon on Thursday, especially to you, Red Card, because I know you're coming to BronyCon, so I'm really excited to see you and, you know, hopefully hang out during the weekend. So, yeah, I, I'm really excited, you guys. I'm really excited to get my badge and stuff. It's going to be real. This is going to be one hell of a weekend. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. And anyway, going back, I was up in Massachusetts and I had the flu. I Last night, I had a fever coming down to Virginia. But right now, I'm all healthy. I'm 90% better. Like, I still have a stuffy nose and I'm a bit coughing, you know, early in the morning. But right now, the coughing's gone for now. <coughs> like that. But needed a breath. Um... But yeah, well right now I'm able to do a review. But anyway, enough rambling, enough rat, <laughs> enough delaying, enough chattering, enough chattering like that. Let's start rocking and reviewing, shall we? Okay. So for this episode, you guys, I'm doing a review on what could possibly be the summer blockbuster of 2017, and by far the best Spider-Man movie of all time, Spider-Man: Homecoming. Like seriously, you guys. Seriously, this is by far the best Spider-Man movie of all time. And that's coming from, um, you know, a growing up Spider-Man fan. Because seriously, like, when I was a kid, Spider-Man was, like, my favorite Marvel superhero. Like, I used to have the, the toys and all that. And I think I had some clothes or play clothes or, you know, some of that merch. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, I did. I used to have, you know, all the toys and, you know, merge. Like, I used to have all the merge and stuff. But then, you know, now since I saw Deadpool, I'm now a Deadpool fan. But anyways, but Spider-Man is still one of my favorites. So, yeah. And I was really excited to see this film. And But at the same time, I kind of had some doubts about it. Because, you know, after seeing Spider-Man in Civil War and, you know, Tom Holland's character portrayal of him I you know I like I said in the first episode I was a bit triggered on that because you know this wasn't like you know the Spider-Man we originally saw in the original movies but then when I told this to you know, my cousin uh he explained to me why Spider-Man was like that it was because you know the movie makers wanted to make this Spider-Man like the Spider-Man in the comics and so I was like oh yeah that explains a lot oh yeah that does that does explain a lot. And yeah, and so after this, I totally get it now. I totally understand it. And I have to say, something tells me, and I don't know for sure because I haven't read any, you know, Marvel comics in my whole life. But something tells me that this movie and this Spider-Man, this one totally did a great job. And this one definitely portrayed the Spider-Man in the comics. Like, that's how much I really liked about Tom Holland's role in this Spider-Man flick like he did an amazing job yeah and as for Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man coming back to this movie I I loved it I loved Iron Man coming back and I also liked his role as playing like Peter Parker's mentor like he did a really good job as you know that whole mentor you know type character like he did a really great job with that and I mean seriously there's just like a lot of things I love there's barely anything that I dislike about it like there's close to nothing that I dislike about it just everything was just good you guys like seriously everything was like good 
Like, I loved, like, my favorite scene was probably, like, the fir the very first scene because that scene was, like, where Peter Parker was, like, vlogging, and I just love that. I'm like, oh my gosh, all the vloggers out there on YouTube are gonna love this movie because you, they start off with Peter Parker vlogging in Europe, and I just love that because I can relate to that to, you know, AC Race Best or Red Card or, you know, all the people that I'm, you know, know for their for their vlogs and you know I just loved it and but anyway so going back to Iron Man I did like his character and you know mentor type so yeah and you know as for everybody else's character like I also liked uh, the antagonist was also really good you know character however at the same time I mean I feel like he, I mean, I feel like his character was more like the dark side version. I feel like his character wasn't more like a, you know, an antagonist towards Spider-Man. I feel like his character was more like an antagonist to, uh, to, I think his, you know, what's the superhero's name? Falcon, I think. I think it's Falcon. Yeah, because his, yeah, because you see his care, you know, his equipment is like the, you know, is a crow and stuff. And, you know, he's called a crow and, or something like that. And, you know, I just had to say, um, you know, that's more like a antagonist for Falcon, if you ask me. But it's still, like, I still like his, you know, I still enjoy, you know, enjoy him as an antagonist. Like, he did, you know, damn good job as an antagonist. But anyways, moving forward, um... And as for everything else, the visual effects, the screenplay were really good. They were spot on. And yeah, the writing was amazing. Everything was just amazing. Like, it was just spot on. And I do love the comedy in it. Like, the comedy between uh, uh, when Peter Parker was, you know, you know, trying to enhance his equipment. And then, you know, you hear this voice monitor in his head. And, you know, all of a sudden, she was like, I think... I don't know, yeah, I think, what was her name? I, I forget the, the, the voice monitor's name for, uh, Spider-Man's equipment when he was, like, on advanced mode. I think it was Alexa, I think, because, oh my god, I thought that was kind of funny because, um, hmm, because, you know, it's like, Alexa, then, you know, the whole Amazon thing, and I thought that was just funny by... I thought that was just by far funny as well, but yeah, overall the film was amazing. Now, let me tell you what I disliked about the film. The thing that I disliked about the film was just only two scenes just disliked me. And, uh, it was the scene where Zendaya's character, uh, Michelle Watson, or MJ, not Mary Jane, um, yeah, but Michelle... Oh, wait, no, not Michelle jo Watson, Michelle Jones, I meant, otherwise known as MJ, my bad. Yeah, not my, Mary Jane Watson, not Mary Jane Watson, Michelle Jones. Um, it was the scene where Zendaya's character was flicking off Peter when he arrived at the homecoming dance. And I was like, what the hell? And you know what's, and you know, throughout this whole movie, I actually loved her character because I love those characters where there's like something mysterious about them. And you know, you, you would just have to wait till the sequel to actually realize the true meaning behind her character background and all that. And I, you know, that's what I loved. But then, you know, coming from this scene, I was like, oh my gosh, what the hell? Man, you turn from a, a really cool character to now a complete bitch. Like, seriously, like, Zendaya's character was just, you know, flicking Peter off for no reason. I was like, what the hell? You gone from a really cool, yeah, and again, you gone from really cool to now a complete douche. And I was like, oh my gosh, come on, come on. But oh well. And also another scene was when uh, Peter Parker's uh, best friend uh, was the guy behind the desk, uh, otherwise known as that. Um, he was trying, as he was helping out Peter Parker, when he gets caught by the teacher, um, you know, he, he the teacher asks, what are you doing? And then he was like, I'm watching porn. I'm like... <laughs> Oh God! You could have, you could have done a better response, or you could have thought of a better excuse. Like you could have said, "I'm playing games on the computer," or "I'm watching YouTube." Hell, you would have said that you would have read a creepy pasta fanfic if you would have. You know, like seriously, just anything other. But nope, you just had to go all out and just say, "I'm watching porn." Oh gosh, detention for you, sir. Detention for you. But oh well. Yeah, but those are the only two things. And speaking of the villain and speaking of um, 
Homecoming. Um, that was actually the thing. What, the scene where um, the antagonist is revealed as Peter Parker's crush's father, I was like, oh my god. And also, that was also one of my favorite parts as well, because that totally relates back to the original Spider-Man movie, where... Um, Peter Parker realizes that Harry Osborn's father is Venom. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is just like the original. Oh my God, continuity, continuity. I love it. I was geeking out in my chair in the theater. So yeah, I love that scene. Like that was by far really amazing. Like seriously, I love that. And also another part, and this is going to be the last one. Um, that I loved was the ending. It was just the ending was really good because Peter Parker He was about to live his dream as becoming an Avenger But then I like that part where and this was a movie cliche a superhero cliche where you know what? I'm fine where I'm at. I mean, I do appreciate the opportunity. I do appreciate the You know what you're asking for me, but I'm think I'm fine where I'm at and you know what? I totally give respect, you know totally give so much respect and also another thing about the ending is we, uh, um, his Aunt May is now realized that Peter Parker is now Spider-Man. And I just have to ask to all you guys, did that happen in the comics? Please comment below if that happened in the comics, just to make sure. Because I don't, because that did not happen in the original movie, and that definitely did not happen in the amazing spider-man so but if it did happen in the comics then i gotta say that is really impressive because like i said this movie did a really great job and this movie definitely did a great portrayal of the spider-man that we know in the comics so really a splendid job and also as for my final rating i give this movie a 9.25 out of 10 like it was really good and like i said you guys it was really hard like i gave spider-man i give spider-man 2 the original one, a 9 out of 10, because, I mean, it was just by far amazing, and I love the drama behind it, and, you know, it won an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects, which it does have great visual effects. And as for the first one, 8.5, and as for Spider-Man 3, that one is definitely a solid 8, maybe a 7.5, actually. Yeah, uh, 7.5, I would say. So yeah, so those are all my ratings to the Spider-Man movies. And with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, if you guys want to check out my channel, click up here and subscribe. And if you guys want to check out my whole entire movie review series, click on here to the playlist. And if you want to get notified, click on the bell and all as well. And also follow me on my Instagram at fritzrolly732. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you dislike it. Please don't dislike it. And also, and one last thing, um, this is actually going to be the first time ever. The next movie that I'm going to do a review on is, oh God, what have I got myself into? The Emoji Movie. So stay tuned for that. Stick around, you guys. Hope Again, hope you guys enjoy this video. I tip my hat to you guys for a good show. And as my favorite wrestler, Jeff Hardy, says, I'll see you guys later in the future. See ya!